Hey, Goal Club members, it's Nick and Ron with another edition of Ask Ron. Uh, we just wrapped up recording a brand new terms course, and I'll let uh, Ron talk to you a little bit about that after we get these questions knocked out. Um, first one is from Mark in Florida. He says, we have done two sets of yellow letters, uh, one, out, one to out-of-state property owners and one to people who had bought in the last two years, almost 10,000 letters. We've had a few people respond to the letter through our Pat Live account, most were no, not send me a letter again. A few were angry realtors. A few were I will sell if you have a huge wheelbarrow full of money. And a couple said they would uh, do it, but quickly sold their homes. In this hot market, none of the FISBOs have been interested and most sold almost immediately. Between FISBOs and yellow letters, we have 155 closed leads. Z buyer isn't bringing in any leads either. We can't buy divorce leads as they're not available in our market. In our market, we have one month's worth of inventory. Is, is there a question <laughs> here somewhere? Almost there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and extremely low days on the market. So my huge question is, in this hot market, what is working for other people? Well, a lot of my students are running Facebook, mainly Google ads. Google ads are working better than Facebook ads right now. And they're paid ads now we're talking about. Uh, we have a new thing called uh, the Deal Finder. Uh, check that out because that literally lets you pull your own uh, list based on 2 billion pieces of uh, of, of data on every house in America and it's a really cool device and they have a rating system that for the people that are best uh, best suited or best qualified to sell within 90 days and so forth um, but I'll tell you do you have do you have signs on your vehicles for example I want you to do something to get people calling you and I know you mail out yellow letters I would have never told you to mail out 10,000 yellow letters under any circumstances that is gross overkill Another example of spending, of throwing money at the issue without at least testing them first. Because I don't, I don't know what the problem is with the yellers, uh, letters. I don't know if it's the list. I don't know what it is because I'm not involved in that process. But uh, start doing things. Look, I got a sign in the back of my own Mercedes. says full price for your house and the phone number. Do the same thing. Put these cheap signs on your vehicles. Get everybody you can out there with these signs on them. And now you, when you get calls on these things, you're going to get better, better qualified. A lead. So ask yourself, what can I do to get sellers to call me without spending all that money you spend on those yellow letters? Um, our new deal finder system will even do the mailing for you, and they're a lot cheaper than the yellow letters. It did say you did get some yes leads, but they, you know, in the hot market, you just maybe didn't move quick enough on them. Yeah, you got to move fast. All right, next question is from Caesar in Florida. This is a much shorter question. Uh, what is a grant tour revoke? It's a grant tour revocable trust. But I think he meant grant tour revocable Antor trust. Revocable trust. Uh, slash land trust. They're I'm not same. sure if I'm understanding it correctly. A land trust is a grantor revocable trust. That's the technical name for it. In case your attorney's never heard the word land trust, which is unlikely. All right, and what is a land trust? A land trust is a simple entity to own a house. That's all it does. Does not have an EIN number, doesn't have a tax return, doesn't need a federal filing, it has no bearing on your income taxes whatsoever. Okay, um, Fernando. Well, you know, we got plenty of lessons on land trust on the Gold Club site. We do. Um, Fernando in Connecticut says, is there an updated owner financing deal checklist available? Owner financing deal checklist? Yeah, there's... Uh, well, I just have one of my new terms course, but I will tell you we got an owner financing seminar coming up shortly. What is it, March 3rd and 4th? Yes. It's two days and I'm free. So make sure you get a hold of us right now and register for that because I'm going to go through things that nobody's ever heard of on that buying and selling with owner financing and i've got plenty of checklists and stuff in there really cool stuff okay we'll do it one more time and that's it all right another question from fernando says i see that the last time the script for answering service script for calls from sellers was revised in 2014. is this the most recent version or is there a newer one that is available there's no need for a newer one there's only a few questions i want to ask the sellers and that's mainly, do you have a house for sale? Because if they do, I'm going to get that forward right to the VA to go outbound and get the property information sheet filled out anyway. All right. And last question from Fernando says, when do you apply the agreement for profit participation form? Profit participation form. That must mean when you're talking about you're partnering with me on, uh, on a deal because you're in a mentoring program, perhaps. Or maybe partnering with somebody else. Remember a profit participation form that I got with a partner or somebody else. Okay. I would like a better uh, a better description of which form you're talking about and where you got it at. All right. Um, 
Tarek from Virginia says, would it be possible to have an agreement document packages with something like a flow chart as to when to use which document? Hmm. This is required for the most common scenarios for the pretty houses lease option strategy. Well, it just so happens we just finished taping a brand new terms course and all that stuff is right in it. Uh, so if you're interested in getting this brand new terms course, call our office only eight ninety seven for a whole big old the whole thing, a brand spanking new, brand new manual, which I've got a lot of hours in, new videotaping, $1,000 certificate to fly toward the boot camp, $1,000 rebate certificate if you go do a deal within 90 days. I'll be adding uh, some lessons in there with live seller calls and some more on deal structuring. So uh, get all of our office, get all the brand new stuff. Now you won't get the manual for about 30 days, but you'll get the, the uh, link, I'm sorry, you get the link to the manual immediately but you won't get the videos for about 30 days. We just finished, we're sitting here, we're still finishing them right now as we speak. Brand, hot off the press. And it's got all that stuff in it. All right, Katrina from Nevada has two questions. Um, says, in a sandwich lease option, do you collect a non-refundable option deposit from the tenant buyer? Of course. Of course, always, or why do it? That's how I make my biggest front end profit. All right, and her second question is, do you also collect the spread between the monthly payment and the amount you owe the seller. Absolutely. That's how I make my monthly spread. That's what gets me to the point where I don't need a job anymore. All right, that's it for this week. Okay. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Now, we got a lot of events coming up. Some of them free, some of them not. Make sure you keep up with this stuff. And then we got a really huge event coming up in April. That's our, that's our spring summit. And I'm giving away a brand new 1946 Ford, the year I was born. Brand new. <laughs> Brand new. So it's totally restored. So you'll see pictures of that and probably get emails on it as well. See you soon.